Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP in SharePoint. In today's video, we are going to discuss about SharePoint online file and media web part. Uh, this is a web part which we will use to display files like or Word or PDF, those kind of files or media files like MP3, MP4 uh, files as well in a SharePoint site page. I'll also show you how we can preview files and then I will so you another important thing where exactly it store the media files or the or the files which are uploaded from uh, your local desktop or something to your uh, media and uh, file and media web part so without further delay what i will do is i'll open the sharepoint site you can see here it is uh, the learn microsoft 365 sharepoint site i have created and here first thing i will do here is i'll go and create a site page so i'll select a blank here and then i'll click on create page i'll give a name here i will say web part uh, demo and uh, then uh, just publish the page so like normally how it created a, a site page you can see here and now if you want to add any web part into this page simply click on this edit button and we are in a position where we can add file so in this case i'll delete this default text to a part instead what i'll do is you can also change the section here i, I will just add two columns and here i will search you can search for file and media you will get to know this is the file so click over here and then it will show you a dialog box where you can uh, upload files from if you have any document recently upload you can choose that or from one drive sites uh, like from this page or you can upload from your local uh, uh, desktop or from a link you can provide this as well so what i'll do is i'll cancel here instead what i'll do is i'll click on edit so when you will cl click on edit you will see here this is the option where you can see connect to a source is there so basically that is what i have already explained explained in the sharepoint online uh, document library web part i have shown how we can preview the files by using this file and media web part. i'll put the link in the video description you can have a look at this for the timing being what i'll do is i'll click on add file and you will see here it is opening the same window so here i will click on upload so that i can upload from my local system so i'll go here and then uh, let's i'll go to this uh, daily data and uh, we can create different type of files here so suppose i'll uh, upload this i'll select this i'll click on add file here and then you can see here it is showing me that which page you want to display if you'll see here there are four pages on this pdf file and i can choose this suppose i want to see the third page i'll select three here and then click on apply and you will see this is the third page of my pdf file and if you want to change it uh, you can uh, go to change file and same way I'll, i can go and upload suppose i'll upload this um uh, ppt so you can see here i'll just click on add file here also same thing you can uh, tell which page you want to start with so suppose i want the fourth page so you can see here i'll once i'll click on apply the fourth page is coming here and uh, if i'll republish this now you can see here whenever someone will op open this page they can see the fourth page of this slide uh, same way also we can upload other media files for example i'll click on edit i'll click change file and i'll click on upload and here we can go to um, let's say this is a mp3 file i can select it and click on add file and you can see here this is the mp3 file that has been uploaded here and there are certain settings as well you can do this and then click on apply so once you click on apply and publish this you can see this is how you can uh, display this file here now where exactly this all this file has been stored uh, if you will go to the site content uh, then you will see here uh, site assets library once you go to site assets you will see that site pages has been folder has been created and all these uh, things has been store, stored here so whenever you will create a site page uh, inside that so if you'll see here our site page name is web part demo and that's the reason it is created a, a folder on the same name and then under that you will see here all our files are available here 
So whenever you will upload a file if to that file and media a web part, you will see there ultimately it is creating uh, a folder under the site asset library on the page of site pages and within that this is exactly the web part or sorry the site page name on which name you have created and under that uh, these files are there. So this is where it actually store it. And this is how we can use the file and media web part. And if you want similar kind of videos, then subscribe to our YouTube channel. You will get a lot of free videos on Microsoft's uh, 365 technologies and Power Automate, SPFX. All these video tutorials, you will get it free. So thank you and have a nice day.